Today we are excited to be at the Progress Group in Northern Italy, in the beautiful Alps, and we are looking at their 3D printing innovation lab. Progress itself is the market leader in precast construction plant equipment. The Progress Group manufactures systems, machinery and software for the precast industry. We deliver machines and systems around the world for different clients. We are working since five years on developing a printer for the construction industry that is able to provide a very high resolution that is not known until yet. They have created an incredible technology called Selective Paste Intrusion, a concrete 3D printing technology. It works on a powder bed and similar to a binder jetting process, it creates parts with very high accuracy on huge build volumes in full construction-capable concrete. The scattering unit scatters a layer of sand with a thickness of 3 mm, then comes a print head and injects the cement paste in this layer. And so we create the part layer by layer. Every form what you can design or develop in Fusion, you can print it as well. Our philosophy is off-site construction. This 3D printing is an additional tool in the construction toolbox. Now we can solve different challenges like labor shortage. Prefabrication makes it more sustainable. You have a better quality and also shorter construction time on site. When we first came across the Progress technology, we were extremely excited because they exemplify the convergence of the architecture space with the manufacturing space that we have been talking about for many years. The architect is designing what they envision to be the final product, then this product has to be manufactured and at the end it has to be assembled at the construction site. If you don't have a consistent data flow between these different entities, there's the possibility of introducing error at every stage. So after the architect has designed the facade in Autodesk Revit, we prepare the data for manufacturing in Autodesk Fusion. Autodesk Fusion slices our parts, package them into a 3MF file and transfer them to our machine. Progress has huge parts, but they also have a very high level of detail. And here the challenge is to find the right amount of data that we transfer to the machine. We have 4 meters by 2.5 meters and 1.5 meter. So in the job box there are two, 300 parts in there. With the new packing function, we save a lot of time because the algorithm packs it much, much better than a human can do that. The Autodesk Fusion Automated Packer is a very good tool for us to save a lot of time and achieve a high degree of automation. In today's environment, manual labor shortages are one of the key issues why projects are delayed. This will literally change how the future is built. Not only because it's a fully digital process end-to-end, -end, but also because it's a fully automated process that requires much less manual labor than traditionally needed. <laughs>